Welcome to my first ever PC build. Now I've done unboxing videos on each and every one of the components I'm going to be putting into this machine and you can check them out at your leisure. I will be putting um, links to, to each of the videos at the end of this video. But this video and series of videos is dedicated to actually building the PC itself. So we're going to start off with the case. It's an empty case. Um, it's a t mostly a toolless case. So I'm just going to pull off the side here, pull the thumb screws off. And there's a window on the side here. There's plastic on it. We'll remove that later, but we'll just leave it on there right now and remove this piece here. And I did drop one of the thumb screws in here, which I'll have to get out later because it's behind the back panel. Let me just put this to the side. And continue here. Now, <clears throat> this case comes with a fan um, on the back. I'm going to have to remove that because um, I did buy a liquid cooling, a Corsair, what is it? Uh, Corsair H70 liquid cooling uh, for the CPU. And it comes with two fans, it's a push pull. Uh, configuration so it comes with two fans and I'm not going to be needing, needing this fan but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and I'm going to mount it on the top because this case has room for quite a few fans and uh, I might as well not let it go to waste and I'm sure the liquid cooling will keep this computer cool enough but why not have since I have the fan why not use it and make sure that I don't have any heat issues in this machine so I'm just unscrewing the back here and removing this fan and then we're just going to mount it on the top of the case. There we go. I'll just put it right here in the middle of the case. So let me set this up. And we're going to mount it up top, so let's do that. It's always easier if you can get one started. And then you can have your hands, both hands, instead of just one. There we go. Got one screw partially in. Now these are 120 millimeter fans. Uh, this case can take a 140, or actually two 140s on the top here, but uh, I don't think there's going to be any need for that. So we're just going to stick with the one. And just screw all this in. Always make sure your screws are. Always make sure your screws are, uh, you know, screwed in, but not too tight, especially when you're dealing with plastic here. Uh, you don't want to strip out the, the holes and ruin it. Okay, got the, the fan moved. Put it back down and move the camera back down. And here we go. This is some of the, as you saw in the unboxing, these are some of the rails and things. I'll put that to the side. <sighs> Alright, the first thing we're going to put in here is the power supply. As you probably saw in one of the other videos I did, it's the HX 750 watt uh, 80 plus silver Corsair power supply. And it mounts on the bottom of this case with the fan pointing at the bottom. And on the bottom of this case is a vent. So I'm just gonna fit it in here and mount it up. All right, comes with a little baggie here and it has the mounting screws. I've got all these little badges that come with it, deciding if I'll put it on later. There's a little Corsair 
badge there that I'll probably put on there. Depends. But it comes with four mounting screws and a tiny, tiny bag here. So what we're going to do, I will spin this to the side here so you can probably see this a little better. I'm going to mount this on the back here and start this up. It's just four screws and this is pretty easy. Just line all the screw holes up. Now this is metal on metal, but you still don't want to tighten it too tight. Just make sure it's nice and snug. Don't go crazy on it. Get the second hole here. Now this is a 750 watt power supply. Should be sufficient for my needs. Um, if you are in question of what kind of power supply you need, there's a uh, PSU calculator at uh, newegg.com which is really helpful because it actually can tell you you put in all the components that you want that you're going to be putting in your build and uh, it'll tell you what you need i did that and it said i probably needed like a 600 watt anywhere from like a 580 to 600 but i might want to expand this system this uh this case allots for um seven hard drives i'm only going to be using one but it allots for seven hard drives and, uh, you know, I could do a crossfire uh, if I wanted to update the graphics card, all that stuff. So um, I thought 750 was good. It wasn't going too crazy. And it was sufficient for my needs. So <clears throat> power supply is now mounted in. Now the cords here, we're going to be... Um, you know, pulling the other side of this case off and, uh, you know, running the cords through the cord management system. But for right now, this, uh, this is good as is. 